Welcome back to From the Core. Buying a family dog could be a major decision. With so many breeds to choose from, it's hard to know what type of four-legged friend is right for you. So Maddie invited a few members of the Tampa Bay Kennel Club to our studio to help guide you in the right direction. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Anthony Lopez. He's part of the Tampa Bay Kennel Club. Thanks for being here today, Mr. Lopez. My pleasure. So tell me a little bit about the Tampa Bay Kennel Club. Uh, well, the Tampa Bay Kennel Club has been in existence for a long time. They, uh, uh, back in 1940 is when they were incorporated. And we uh, conducted our first all-breed dog show in uh, 1943 at the Fort Homer Hesterly Armory. I, mean, I think we had a total of about 200 dogs. So how does someone become part of the Tampa Bay Kennel Club? Uh, well, if uh, they need to attend meetings. Uh, the Tampa Bay Kennel Club meets twice. Uh, the second, uh, second Thursday of every month. And uh, if they attend at least three meetings in succession, then they, uh, they can uh, uh, apply to the membership, uh, fill out an application, and then that application will be voted on by the membership. So I know you didn't come alone today. You have some dogs with us? Oh, yeah. So here we have a Tibetan Mastiff named Mei Li and her owner, Jeannie St. John. Thanks for being here today. Oh, I'm glad to be here. So what's some history behind the Tibetan Mastiff? Tibetan Mastiffs are an uh, ancient breed. They're new to AKC. They've only been in the last 10 years. But they're ancient because they found evidence back from 400, 4,000 BC, I'm sorry, uh, in Tibet, which is the top of the world in the Himalayas. Mm -hmm. So and, uh, that's where they're originated. What is the lifespan for a dog like um, this? 12, 13, 14 years old, depending on how you treat them and care for them and what they eat. and. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of thing, and the heredity. <laughs> so is this a good dog to have around families and kids? They're great with kids um, and families. They're very protective, though. Mm -hmm. So you have to introduce strangers to them. Yes. You can't just let people just walk in a house because that's what they're meant to do. They're guard, guard dog. So this dog would need a lot of room to run and play, like a big yard? They like to play, and they like to run, but they stay near the house. Uh, they're not an apartment dweller. They couldn't be in an apartment, mm -hmm. but they do like to go outside, but they're couch potatoes inside. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Next, we have an American Cocker Spaniel. His name is Logan, and his owner is Carrie Lehman. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. I appreciate it. Tell us some, tell us some background on the American Cocker Spaniel. Uh, the American Cocker is uh, a Spaniel, the smallest of the sporting breeds. Mm -hmm. um, they are bred to flush game, uh, woodcock in England. Uh, that's where they originated from. Uh, and the first uh, Spaniel, came from the Cocker Spaniel, came over on the Mayflower back in 1620. So. so this is a small dog good for apartments and small houses? Absolutely, yeah. They, they can live in, in an apartment, they can live in a house, but you do have to exercise them. They mm -hmm. do they like to run. They are prey driven. They love birds and squirrels, and so you want to get them outside and see that. So. so I know American Cocker Spaniels are prone to lots of diseases. Is that something someone should keep in mind when buying a Cocker Spaniel? Absolutely. There are health issues that come along with the Cocker Spaniel. Because of the floppy ears, you mm -hmm. get a lot of ear infections. Yeah. But with the, you know, the right care, you can definitely keep it at its low, lowest. You know? um, but yeah, other than that, they, they suffer from uh, cataracts as well as they get older. But mm -hmm. other than that, they're not a bad dog. They do have some allergies uh, to outside stuff, but you know, again, you just got to stay on top of it. If you do, it, they'll be fine. Okay, thanks yeah. for being here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Moving on to our next dog, which is a Samiad, and his owner is Loane Wyatt. What is the Samiad bred to do originally? It was originally bred to uh, herd reindeer and uh, pull small sleds. They also took them into their huts at night to help keep the family and the kids warm. Now, they originated in northern Siberia with the Samiad nomad tribes. I see that it has a thick coat. Is that a problem in the Florida heat? No, it's not a problem. They, they are double coated. The undercoat insulates them from the heat and the cold. So they do fine in Florida. We're usually ready to go inside before they are. <laughs> Would it, they like a lot of daily exercise to move and run around? Yes, they are a working dog. You have to exercise them on a daily basis. They need to get out where they can do a little bit of running and playing so that they can keep their uh, stamina up. Okay, thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. Certainly, Tampa Bay Kennel Club is for dog lovers. They believe in the advanced study, exhibition, and maintenance of purebred dogs. The Kennel Club has numerous programs to help the canine community in and around Tampa Bay, such as the Responsible Dog Ownership Day 
and junior clinics, which allowed kids and teens to get involved. If our viewers wanted to learn more about the Tampa Bay Kennel Club and about the dogs they saw today on the show, what would the website that they would visit? Well, they could, the uh, Tampa Bay Kennel Club's website is uh, www.tampabaykennelclub.com. There's also the AKC Kennel Club, akc.org, and uh, that website will give you insight to all of the different breeds and from their website, you can link to the parent club for the different breeds and learn more about the specific breeds. Okay, well, thank you all for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. That was a doggone good interview. So true. When we come back, we'll tell you about a woman who you might not know, but is definitely worth your respect.